Okay, I'm here, Paul Karpovich, some of you might know me already, but I'm here with uh, Stuart from Warrior Collective. Um, I'm just going to do a video. Uh, he's brought me down some, some nice cool tech sandy boxing gloves today to have a go off, and I'm going to be testing them out on the sandy uppercut bracket. If you want any sandy equipment, then go to um, sandyboxing.com. And you should see some cool stuff on there, what you can get your hands on. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to use this piece of equipment. This is called uppercut bracket. You know, most of you know what this is. is it, it's a bit different to a bag, obviously, because it doesn't move. So I think it, it's good to help develop the power shots. And also you can practice your footwork and your distance perfect on it. So I'm going to go through a few drills with you. Show you how we use this thing and then show you how I use it and stuff. So basically you've got your basic, your basic drills. So you can suss out your distance from it. Obviously that's not going to move. So you've got a nice distance there. And then also I can use from here, just plant your feet at the, at the, at the start. Add to that, boom, boom, you've got your nice straight punches. Bah, bah. You've also, if you're stepping a little bit closer, you can, I like to see the dot where I'm gonna hit, and then as I throw the punch, I'm gonna rotate, boom, come through on the other side, so see that? And I can see the opposite dot, boom, come on that side, and then you can also put your hand on it, do you know, like as a little, you know, to a guide or to cover the, your opponent's face in real. And then from there, see from there, I bend my legs. I like to put my, my leg in line with it sometimes as well, in line with the dot. And I bend, boom, left uppercut. Same on this side, boom, with the right uppercut. So you've got your basic shots on it. One twos, hooks, uppercuts. Also, this is perfect for like body shots. So you can like, do like that. I'll like, tup, tup, tup. Yeah, and then you can mix them shots up with the, the hooks, the uppercuts. I'm not gonna go ham on it for now, but um, uh, I can uh, let you guys imagine what you can do on it. So you've got that, bam, bam, hooks, maybe rubber cuts, maybe rubber cuts, hooks on the opposite side. I'm gonna show you some drills that we like to practice on two technical. So the first one is um, switching guard, yeah? So you, you get your right foot in line with, the, with this, or with this, and your right hand, so it's pretty much coming straight as you're throwing the shot. Now try and remember when you throw the shot, Dip your head a little bit. You don't want to have your head high in the sky, yeah? But I'm going to show you. So your right cross, and then from here, see this nice position, you can't want to be tucked chin down, or here, boom, either side. And then this left foot slides first towards your right. And just as it's about to hit, this one's going to come over here and plant. And as it plants, bang, you throw your left shot. Yeah? And you can just practice that. Stop, 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 stop. So you got a nice simple drill. Also you can do that, see there, bang. Now I've got to blend it into a hook. So I'm going to slide slightly more across. Boom, left up. And you can blend it into uppercuts as well. Up, up. And see if you put your hand on it, after the uppercut, because I'm nice and close. So if I try and switch guard here now, I'm too close for this straight. So if my, I've just finished my left uppercut, see my left hand, I sort of put it on the thing, yeah? Because it's nice and solid, that's why I like this equipment. And then see there, as I switch my feet, I can kind of push myself back off, back to distance. Be straight again. Boom. And then see how I'm working it, getting closer. So, so, so. And then back out. Ready for you straight again. Yeah, that's one drill that we like to do. Also, we mix that with the a one-two. So you're practicing both guards, you're getting like, you know, not just orthodox. You can do, like I said before, just orthodox going ham on it. But we like to mix it up a little bit, so we'll go so check for example. One, two, one, two, one, up, one, up, one, up, one, up. Now see on the, on the one and the up, and then back to the beginning. Up, 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 up. Back to here, yeah? Always come back to your guard. Now, obviously you're not going to do that in a real fight, but you might be chilling here like that and you might just switch on foam and come with a one-two and then a high kick. Also, you can high kick these things, do you know what I mean? So you could, could be chilling in a, like an orthodox stance and then see from there, I like to throw your right hand so it's already there. Boom, it's in his face. And keep that there, switch your guard, one-two, little step out, boom, come up with a high kick. Yeah, or you could come up with a jumping knee. So I'll show you that one in a minute as well. There's quite a lot of things that you can, um, you can do on this equipment. So I'll show you that again, slow, slow it down a little bit. Up, up, switch your feet, boom, boom. 
See the fun? See, it's out. Switch, boom, boom. Switch, boom, boom. Switch, boom, boom. Switch, boom, boom. And I like to keep my back leg semi in line with that. I'll show you with Diddy in a bit um, on how to keep your foot on the outside of an opponent. Some of you will already know about that as well. So you got that drill. Also, this is perfect for elbows, mixing your punches with your elbows. So a nice simple one is uh, start here. Always stay out with the jab. So go left jab. Now when we do the left up, we have to get a bit closer because it's too far to reach out for. So go left jab, step in with the hook. And your elbow's already there. Like a little sneaky elbow. Like that. Pop, pop, pop. And you do the same on the other side. So you go left jab, right hook, left elbow's there. And then come back. So you nice, nice little drill. See that? Cross, hook, elbow. Yeah? Or jab, hook, elbow. Do you know what I mean? On that side, just a little boom, boom. Again, with the changing guard, like before, we like to do that. So, say, say like, touch it. Yeah, switch my feet, right elbow, left elbow, right elbow, left elbow, right elbow, left elbow, right elbow, boom, 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 Yeah, you probably know some controlling early because I've got a bit of an injury on uh, a left elbow, but anyway, you can mix up your things like that. At first I was doing one elbow, and then, see when they switch guard, you're close. So loads of you will do this and you'll stay in, yeah? I like to, here, come out, yeah? And then come back in, boom, out, back in, come out, back in, come out, back in, yeah? And you sometimes just stay in, so, 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 little so, 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 then come out, yeah? So the beauty of this is you can kind of, from here, when you're sussing out your range and your distance, it's a perfect piece of equipment for that. And I'll show you a few more um, unorthodox things that we can do on it as well. So we've got like the flying knee or the springing knee, yeah? We call this one a springing knee. You lift your right knee up and I jump, boom, knee with the left. And loads of you, there's a wall behind it. I'm pretty scared that I'm going to hit the wall. It's all about where you land your feet afterwards on something like this. In Rio, you land your foot at the front, back in your guard. For now, we land it at the back in Southpaw, so check. You go like that, right knee comes up, suck, put the south corner, and then try the opposite thing on the same time. Up. Nice. Remember, the higher I lift the right, the more better this left one's gonna go in. So start like that, plant your feet a little bit, so you bend your legs, go low, come up, yeah, go low, a little step like that, and then come up, boy, and spring your knee. Do the same with a normal knee. Boom, flying knee can have a thunder. Sometimes we like to aim for that one, because that, so you've got a road to your leg. Come back to your guard, so you're like, yeah, up, flying knee. So you can do that with the left as well. Come back to your guard. So you've got flying knees, uh, springing knees. Also, we've got, um, this one's more complicated, but you can just come on an angle like this with this. And like I said before, you can go like the hand, put the high kick, come back to your guard. But we like to, Mix it up a little bit, so check. You go like that. The footwork, see how before I was stepping in? This one kind of got push off my back foot and falling. It's more of a sneakier shot. So you go like a sneaky shot there, sort of like bang, sneaky shot. And then from there, you dip, come round, up on the other side, then that switch, boom, sneaky shot, dip, come round. Do you know what I mean? Or I could stay in the same guard like that. So dip, boom, and there's a dip, bang, little elbow. And I'm in this stance. Yeah, it's a bit more complicated, take more time to learn that one. Obviously, you've got to learn that one. You have to come, come check me out. <laughs> uh, check me out on Facebook um, or come down to my gym. So, the site on Facebook is Too Technical Muay Thai. Or check me on the Instagram page. Also, more videos. Check my man Stuart on uh, Warrior Collective. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Yeah, man.